Now, what is psychometry? Psychometry is a branch of science which deals with the property of moist air. Moist air is a composition of dry air and water vapor. So, before starting the psychometry chart, let me quickly define the following terms. Specific humidity or humidity ratio. It is defined as the ratio of mass of water vapor per kg of dry air in a given volume at a given temperature. Next, relative humidity. It is defined as the ratio of mass of water vapor to the mass of water vapor under the saturated condition in a given volume and a temperature. Dry bulb temperature. It's the temperature of the moist air indicated by the simple ordinary thermometer. Wet bulb temperature. It is the temperature shown by the thermometer whose bulb is covered with a wet cloth. Wet bulb depression. It is the difference between dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature. Dew point temperature. It is the saturation temperature corresponding to the initial of the condensation or water particles just start to condense or saturation temperature corresponding to the partial pressure of the water vapor. Degree of saturation or percentage of humidity. It is the ratio of specific humidity to the specific humidity at saturation point. Enthalpy of moisture. It is defined as the total enthalpy of dry air and water vapor mixture per kg of moist air. This is the basic structure of psychometry chart. It is plotted at a constant pressure of 180. In this, this vertical line denotes specific humidity. This horizontal line denote the tribal temperature increasing from left to right. This curve denotes the saturation point. This region denotes the superheated state. At the saturation curve, we are having phi is equals to 100%. Dry bulb temperature and wet bulb temperature and dew bulb temperature are equal. Let's represent a different constant parameter on psychometric chart. Starting with the case one, constant bulb temperature line. Constant bulb temperature line are the vertical line on the psychometric chart, increasing in the order of positive x direction. These are uniformly spaced. Case two, constant specific humidity lines. These are horizontal lines mainly moving towards the saturation curve, increasing in order of positive y direction. These are uniformly spaced. Case three, constant dew point temperature lines. These are horizontal lines mainly moving from left to right, that is away from saturation curve. It is an increasing order in this way. These lines are non-uniformly spaced. Case four, constant relative humidity curves. These are parallel to the saturation curve and in increasing order in the northwest direction. Case five, constant specific enthalpy lines, constant wet bulb temperature lines, constant specific volume lines. Enthalpy and wet bulb temperature are having same degree of uh, inclination. Enthalpy lines are uniformly spaced. Wet bulb temperature lines are non-uniformly spaced. Specific volume lines are having higher degree of uh, higher degree of inclination. We will see them indirectly in the psychometric chart. Let's discuss basic psychometric processes. First, sensible heating. It is a process of increasing of temperature, dryable uh, temperature at constant specific humidity. Similarly, sensible cooling. It is a process of decreasing of dryable temperature at constant, constant specific humidity. Humidification. It is a process of uh, increasing the specific humidity at constant dryable temperature. Dehumidification. It is a process of decreasing of specific humidity at constant dry bulb temperature. Now, if the line goes 
in northeast direction the process is known as sensible heating plus humidification if the line goes in southeast direction the process is known as specific heating and dehumidification similarly in southwest south southwest direction it is called sensible cooling and dehumidification in northwest it is called sensible cooling and humidification now this condition is known as winter winter ac condition this condition is also known as summer ac condition and this condition is known as desert cooler condition also known as adiabatic saturation process now let's let's take an example a dry bulb temperature of 21 degree celsius and a humidity specific humidity of 0.0086 if we are getting value of wet bulb temperature at 16 degree celsius dry bulb temp uh, dew point temperature is 13 degree celsius enthalpy as 45 kJ or kg of dry air relative humidity as 60 60% and specific volume as 0.8457 okay let's look at 21 degree celsius this point is 21 degree celsius okay now we have to look at specific humidity having value 0 0.0086 to 0 0.008 to 0 0.01 so this will be 0 0.006 0 0.086 okay now see where these two points uh, these two line intersects just encircle it it will be better if you are using the psychometry chart with me okay from this point we can locate enthalpy dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature and humidity ratio and specific volume now you see there is a curve these curve line denotes the relative humidity so we we can see that relative humidity is 60% okay now come back to the point from this point we can easily locate the enthalpy which is 45 now we can easily locate the wet bulb temperature which is 16 degree 15 16 from this point we can easily locate the dry, uh, dew point temperature this point which is 13 degree now we have to find the specific volume for this um, it is it lies between 0.084 and 0.086 so we have to use the interpolation and to use interpolation we have to locate two different points this point which is at 19 degree celsius and going towards the right this point which is 26 degree celsius so by using the uh, interpolation formula linear interpolation we can easily calculate the volume of specific volume which comes out to be 0.08457 thank you